Hey Taurus, what's up? Jackie here, she hears this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus. Check the placements in your chart. Taurus, out of this actual self-care deck, we have dissociation coming up for you. So there's some sort of trauma that you aren't dealing with and it's making you dissociate during sex here, okay? So really needing to get grounded during this time, you are going through some major changes with your sex life and sexual energies and partners here. So you really need to slow down. You could also be distracted during sex for some of you and this could also be due to any stress, any anxiety and fears or lack of intimacy. And you really need to pay attention to your partner and you and whether or not your bodies are actually present during sex during this time. For some of you, this is someone who you're married to and you need to talk to them about this or maybe even go to couples counseling or therapy or whatever. And a lot of you have been avoiding this due to maybe being attracted to someone else. Maybe you're using dissociation as an excuse in your marriage here. Okay. That's not going to resonate for all, but just take what resonates with you. For some of you, this dissociation could also be happening with a Sagittarius or another fellow Taurus here. So again, um, things will get better too for you. Five threes and tens could also be significant to you. I do see a lot of changes, closing up of cycles and manifesting and creating better things moving forward here. We do have Sagittarius of the Astro Sex Deck energy here. So you could be exploring, you know, different types of things while traveling, um, you know, spiritual energies with sexual energies like what does that mean for you and like this kind of abundant and expansion energy which I think is very beautiful you could also have a Sagittarius coming towards you this could be getting better during Sagittarius season here and a lot of you are going through again confirmation here I didn't even see that change up here you're really spicing some things up switching things up risky sex might be coming up for you too and that also could be why you're dissociating so pay attention to some of these things you might be going to different types of parties people might be trying to like touch on your thighs or your hips i like the way she rock her hips that kind of energy you might be dancing here too Hierophant. So this is the card of tradition here. Sexually, this might be some things that you are dealing with, you know, if you are part of a church or a very um, religious kind of practice or whatever, and they may not accept your sexuality. Maybe you're part of the queer community. Maybe you're um, gender expansive. Maybe you uh, are poly, are kinky, whatever. And, you know, some of you really are having this like internal struggle and battle when it comes to sex and your sexuality and gender. And it's like, what do I do here? And are people of my community or a church or, you know, religion or higher power or whatever are they going to actually accept me here but not only that it's like one step further affirm me here so a lot of things to pay attention to for some of you you're going to be getting married soon so congratulations for others of you this is really seeking spiritual guidance and maybe guidance a little bit in regards to sex and sexuality um you could be seeking that out here a lot of you could be conforming to traditional norms and things like that roles during sex whatever um and feeling like well okay well we need to do premarital counseling with the church with the church or something like this overall so again just take what re resonates with you maybe you're getting married in a religious institution here we just had the new moon in virgo i am recording this two days after here so whatever intentions you set you know with the new moons this new beginning is coming i know this one in virgo felt very chaotic maybe a virgo in your chart maybe you're dealing with a virgo whatever but this is like the time to take action on these goals and things especially if you're dissociating during sex or you want to change things things up with sex or you want to explore like how if we get married where all our sex life kind of change here right but really it's important for you to take action on your goals spirits like not playing right now so literally move forward and you will be rewarded Taurus okay um for those of you that are new hit subscribe below uh like this video and definitely check the other placements in your chart too boo because it is not just your sun side boo okay so a lot of you are needing to practice some self-compassion here especially self-kindness is even if it comes to yeah like your sexuality I said again here like sexuality confirmation or your kinks or fetishes pay attention to yourself and others and you know who's talking to you about this as well but treat yourself as you would a friend here use mindfulness common humanity and um mindfulness common humanity and all the three self-compassion skills i'm like blanking out on the other one to really focus in on like any sexual shame or criticism that you've experienced we also have attachment here so really need to focus on building a more secure attachment style for you you might also be experiencing you know this during sex and you attaching yourself to people's energies and biology and your dna is changing and you might just be like i don't even feel like myself here while well, you're having sex with too many people taurus okay um 
um, you are also being called to work on your attachment and really focus in on how this influences sex. So for example, if you're, if you have an avoidant attachment, you are probably like one night stands, hook up done. I don't want a relationship with you, boo. Okay. If you're an anxious attachment, you're like, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I don't know. Can I do this? Can I like, you know, anxious ambivalent? Can I initiate sex? Can I do this? Can I, whatever moving forward? Um, and secure is like really confident being able to focus in on sex and also ask for what you want and really like not feel shame for it. We also have bath time here, 11. So this could be good for you to be able to slow down, ground your energy, get within your body here and really build that like intimacy with sexual self-care and just being naked with yourself and like pairing in maybe some essential oils or crystals, salt baths, protect your energy during this time too. We also have shame in the reverse. My gosh, that just came out in Aries. So again, and your energy came out in Aries. So I could be talking to, you know, Taurus, Aries Cusper. I could be talking to a cross watcher. You know how it goes here on my channel, but a lot of you need to work on shame. It's influencing your relationships. It's influencing your sexual energies and it's influencing whether or not you feel like you can actually ask for what you want and what you require during sex and the different types of sex. Let's get more on your sexual energy here. What else, please, Spirit? What does Taurus need to know during this time? first house. So a lot of you are going through, yeah, like ego identity, changing things up, really maybe even sharing or exploring different types of sexuality or gendered labels, as well as kinks, polyamory, all the different kinds of things, especially with this card coming out here. Okay. Lilith, a lot of you are afraid to do this. So you need to work on some fears, anxiety, and your shadow work is showing up heavily. And we're about to enter eclipse season Taurus. So now's the time to do your shadow work. Now's the time to ask yourself like what anxieties or fears do I have when it comes to sex? and my sexual identity, um, my ego, my confidence, you know, if I'm sexually questioning things and who I am or this connection with somebody, what does that mean? Again, first house represents Aries here. What else, please? Thank you. Cancer. You could also be dealing with cancer in your life or this person, you know, could have things going through their cancer chart. You could have cancer in your chart, but really it's like this romantic kind of like, you know, <sighs> cuddling, nipple play, romantic love, sexual giver, this person might give to you. You could also be 66 here too. That is showing up for some of you or seeing sixes, or maybe you have, you know, um, that full chart here. Someone could also be touching your chest or your stomach or your breasts during this time. We also just had Mars go into cancer today. So this could be something where slow and steady wins the race with sex. Um, watch out for any moodiness, or if you have cancer in your chart, your emotions can go like from zero to a hundred out of nowhere. So just pay attention to that. We have Virgo in the reverse here and it says, I'm releasing what doesn't work for my sexuality and relationships. Yeah. For a lot of you, you need to call in that mantra, this affirmation here. And for a lot of you, that's working on shame. So tell me about first house questioning things, ego identity, what's going on for Taurus here. What do they need to know about this during this time? Ooh, my cards are falling down Taurus. Maybe you're falling a lot. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, 10 of cups. Okay. You will call in a better, um, emotional fulfillment with like your sexual energies with families. For some of you, I feel like this is you wanting to have kids and really questioning this. Like, do I want to get pregnant? Can I get pregnant? Um, pay attention to birds during this time here as well. But spirits like, yes, you can do that for anybody that needed that answer. Like claim it in the comments below. And for others of you that are part of the queer community, this is like about finding your, your soul fam. The people that aren't going to judge you, the people aren't going to shame you, whatever. My judgment shut up here. As I just said that you could also have a significant awakening or rebirth when it comes to your sexuality during Scorpio season feels pretty damn appropriate. We also are in Pluto retrograde here. So if you're contemplating things with people, conversations of like a soul fam or queer community, poly community, kink community, whatever, like you're about to be feeling really good in the future and moving forward with the people that are best for you and letting go of those that are not right for you that like judge you shame you you know question your sexuality here or just don't understand it and they just want you to explain it you don't have to explain it Taurus okay yeah 801s this is coming in hot shh, 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 shh. coming in hot okay this is movement, rapid changes coming in. And for some of you, these are like these new connections, putting yourself out there. And as your identity and ego it might be going through, maybe a death here a little bit, but like also moving forward into no longer questioning yourself or who you are. Like, I don't need to question myself. I know I'm bi. I don't need to question myself. I know I'm pan. I don't need to question myself. I know I'm this, whatever, right? 
king of pentacles look at you showing up in your power here okay abundance lots of discipline and leadership is coming in for you very beautiful and again fucking power hierophant for a lot of you this is a marriage that you will be moving forward and you're gonna be really with and you're gonna be really happy seven of pentacles in the reverse okay this is like impatient like you're maybe wondering was my effort wasted was this actually good you know is this actually gonna be rewarded yes like now is the time Time to call that in claim it yes like it is going to be good i see nothing bad here five of swords you have had to deal with a lot of conflict from haters people trying to like defeat you talk shit on you community members like you know lie on your name here and six of pentacles you are very generous and i see a lot of you walking away and saying no more you're also sharing or you might be also be getting involved in like different types of like queer charity events or whatever or maybe you're queer whatever and that's where you might meet some people tell me about taurus's Lilith card like what do they need to work on why do they need to work on fears anxieties things like that shadow work mm -hmm, because you will be getting married soon and celebrated um a lot of you this is like your homecoming and shadow work might just be the best kind of tool to be able to explore some things like you're coming into better community with this and trust your intuition you could be working with you know a high priestess a spiritual worker talking to somebody about shadow work and maybe booking like a coaching or a consultation Mwah. <laughs> just kidding unless you want to Taurus but I would gladly help you with shadow work questions but really like there's something subconsciously that you might be like I don't even know what I have to work on during this time Jackie okay this is Cancerian energy this is someone who might be very wise that you will call out to and work on spirit could be giving you signs through your dreams through different synchronicities here as well pay attention to numerology and the astrology here but also remember that you have like the wisdom or power in you cancer as well overall energy with this card so you could have that in your chart too what else this could also be a cancer helping you with that page of swords yeah this is literally conversations working with someone on this together communicating a new idea six of wands the overall energy you know of aries was this and your energy came up overall six of wands this is going to be victorious successful here and very beautiful energy move forward with this especially seek guidance from a wise person when doing your shadow work and how they can hold you accountable and how they can help you with this okay Okay, tell me about this cancer, please, for Taurus. What do they need to know? Five of Wands in the reverse. This could have been some sort of conflict, actually, that was, um, you know, solved here. This could have been about sex. There's a lot of tension released. Ooh, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. This could have been about, like, you know, do we want kids? Do we not want kids? A lack of progress that really came up. This person could also have Earth in their chart, or this could be you, Taurus, here. This could have been, like, wow, we're really distracted, and I don't feel like we're actually solving any problems here. Yeah, Seven of Wands in the reverse. I feel like some of you needed to seek help a little bit further, but you were exhausted and overwhelmed here like you had to put your face mask on first before you could like move forward with this cancer here for some of you this was like a breakup with a cancer or you know something that was very short-lived like a fling or whatever okay for some of you this is future energy of mars and cancer yeah queen of, wands, queen of wands you know a fling here overall this person's confident sexy warmth energy and hanged man energy you know you'll have to surrender let go and like take on this new perspective pisces energy of like yeah okay i know that this was not meant for me and this is not gonna go beyond anything else emotionally it was like a sexual hookup here okay king of cups in the reverse this person's not for you boo justice in the reverse this could have been an ex or court case or there could have just been some dishonesty with legal issues bills things of that nature here we also have libra energy maybe that came up during libra season you could have libra in your chart they could have it in their chart so again just take what resonates with you in this read taurus boo okay the tower aries energy yeah there was a lot of disaster chaos and maybe it, for some of you the sexual connection felt chaotic like they weren't showing up for you yeah five of cups maybe they were depressed maybe you went through a depression and then that influenced sex and sexual libido all the damn things magician in the reverse yeah it literally did like you were not able to do it have sex whatever and then i also said like health issues too so i don't know what that is bill let go of your shame though okay scorpio energy your sibling sign here i'm transforming into the most authentic shameless sexy version of myself here fives 50s you could be 50 here um you could have scorpio in your chart venus ah, 
course, love, romance, and affection and gifts are coming. Congratulations. That could be Libra season since that is coming up and Taurus, your overall energy or even Virgo season, sixth house. Really work hard on spending time together in your relationships for your sexual connections here, okay? Get to know them first. Buy me dinner. Definitions. So really thinking about the different types of sex that you want to be able to have. This can depend on sexuality, gender, attraction, sex acts. And some people think they only get taught a few, but that's a myth that's been debunked over time. So really take time to reflect on this and relationships in the future. You could be 28, marriage in the reverse. Some of you are getting, you know, divorced here. Law of attraction, 56. Use that during this time to manifest better sex and better sexual energies, relationships. But some of you will be going through a divorce here. And maybe this is also divorcing of a polyamory, or maybe you are divorcing this person. They're divorcing you due to polyamory and that like 10 of cups energy, like I said earlier. So <sighs> let's shuffle this out overall. Most important final messages for Taurus, please. Taurus, make sure to like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments below how you're feeling about these energies. Um, and let me know, you know, what resonates with you because I love the confirmations, boo, okay? So we have shake up. <laughs> Major changes and transformations are un an unexpected news and information are coming. Be ready, like I said at the beginning, legit to be ready. Major changes and transformations and unexpected news here. We have black or Ooh, someone is psychically attacking you, gossiping about you, like I said, and sending you Eli energy. Use spiritual protection now, of course. If you want to come to my Protect Your Energy workshop in the future, definitely do so, okay? Ooh, and then we have synchronicities, like I said. Pay attention to the signs, synchronicities, angel numbers, music, words. Your team is here. Reflection, take some time to reflect. It's in the reverse. Focus on yourself here, Taurus. And we have mediumship for some of you. Uh, the other side wants to talk to you, loved one, family member, friend, past ex, whatever, and overall energy, trying to soul search during this time. Figure out who your divine counterparts are and your spiritual community, okay? Taurus, take time for you. Reflect, boo. Um, major changes are ahead. Congratulations about these brand new beginnings, the things that you manifested within the new moons this year, or even um, since the past six months, since it takes some time to like move forward with these things. I'm proud of you. I know you got this, boo, and make sure that you reflect too, okay? Check the other placements in your chart. Stay tuned for more. Stay shameless.